Barack Obama would have not been the Democratic nominee. In fact, he probably would have had to drop out shortly after Iowa. And in a close race, we would have lost to John McCain if we had not tried to and ultimately successfully changed the electorate. We had to make the electorate in Iowa younger and in a big way. We had to bring independents and Republicans in, which was hard because they had to change their voter registration in front of their neighbors on caucus night. And on caucus night, historically, people over the age of 65 turned out at twice the rate of people under 30 in every Iowa caucus. And on the night of January 3rd, more people turned out under 30 than over 65. That's the most remarkable statistic of the election. And that's why we won. And on election day of 2008, amongst the people who voted in the bush Kerry race, here was the results. Barack Obama, 50%. John McCain, 49%. Coin flip. We've seen that movie before. You don't know how the Electoral College will turn out. But amongst those people who voted in their first election for president, or the first election in a long time, meaning people who had checked out of politics, and there's tens of millions of them in this country, we won 71 to 27. And I don't think you'll ever see that number again in American politics, to have that big of an advantage.